Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. And on this channel, I'm gonna teach you how to make your favorite tiki drinks in an easy and simplistic way that does not require a thousand ingredients. So we're gonna take your favorite cocktails, distill them down, still make it flavorful and fun, and enjoy a few cocktails together. So anyway, on the channel today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a modern interpretation of a classic Don the Beachcomber cocktail, the Pearl Diver. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Lucky Kane's Jewel of the Sea. Let's do this. So the Jewel of the Sea from Lockheed Kane, which is a tiki bar in London, gets its roots from Don the Beachcomber's Pearl Diver. Now, this was a classic Don the Beachcomber drink that included an ingredient that most people didn't know about, and that was gardenia mix. And when I say didn't know about, I mean they didn't know what it was made of. Even some of his bartenders didn't know. And that isn't until the early 2000s when Jeff Beach Bomberry kind of decoded what was in Gardenia Mix and now we know. Gardenia Mix is essentially made of honey, butter, cinnamon syrup, vanilla syrup, and allspice dram. So I'm actually gonna post in the description below my recipe for Gardenia Mix. I'm also gonna post a link to a commercially available one that you can pick up if you choose not to make your own. It's also just as good, so don't worry. Now, this recipe comes from Minimalist Tiki, which, hold on a second, see if I can do some video magic here. I'm going to snap my fingers and see if I can make it appear in my hands. So this is the book Minimalist Tiki uh, and it is a tome of tiki knowledge if you are into you know history and just cocktails. I highly highly recommend you pick this book up. So hold on a second I gotta put it back. Anyway I got the recipe from there and it's from a bar in London called Lucky Cane which comes from the name Lucky and Sugar Cane. So Anyway, let's take a look at what we're gonna need to build this jewel of the sea. First, we're gonna need a moderately aged rum. Next up, we're gonna need dry curacao. We're gonna need gardenia mix. And orange juice. The moderately aged rum that I'm using is Denison Vatted Dark. The dry curacao is Pierre Ferrand's, the Gardini mix is homemade, and the orange juice is fresh squeezed. I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit. Now this original cocktail does call for mandarin orange juice, which I don't have, and so I'm gonna use orange juice instead. Also, this drink was originally served in a kind of conch, uh, tiki mug style uh, glassware. I don't have one of those, so because this is inspired by the Pearl Diver, I'm gonna serve it in a Pearl Diver glass. Anyway, let's get to building this. First, I'm gonna need half an ounce of my orange juice. Then I'm gonna need three quarters of an ounce of my gardenia mix. Now gardenia mix, whether homemade or store bought, does have a tendency to settle, so make sure you shake it nice before you uh, pour it. I'm gonna need three quarters of an ounce of my gardenia mix. Then I'm gonna need a quarter ounce of my dry curacao. And last but not least, I'm gonna need an ounce and three quarters of my moderately aged rum. Now, this original recipe does call for Pusser's rum, which I don't have, and instead I'm using my Denison Vatted Black. It is 100 proof, it is very rich and raisiny, and I think it's gonna go perfect in this cocktail, so let's give it a try. Next, we're gonna add ice to our shaker. And give it a nice whip shake for about five to eight seconds. And we're just gonna open pour it into our pearl diver glass.
By the way, if you are interested in picking up these pearl diver glasses, I will link them in the description below. I'm gonna garnish this kind of how I would a pearl diver. We're gonna use some pineapple fronds. A orange wheel skewered with a cocktail cherry to create kind of like that kind of clam shape, right? So kind of our jewel of the sea. And an orchid. There, that'll work. And now our straw and we get to taste. Push the orchid off. Let's see how we did. So definitely reminiscent of, of a pearl diver. The pearl diver has a little bit more tartness to it because it has that lime juice. This kind of excludes the lime juice and goes all in on the orange, right? So we have the orange curacao and the orange juice, and it is much more orange forward but that is accented by the raisin notes of the Dennis and Vatted Black, and then the also cinnamon and honey that we get from the Gardenia mix. This is a great drink. It almost tastes like an orange creamsicle, if you can imagine that. This thing is really good. Well, that's it, there you have it, the jewel of the sea. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't hesitate to follow me on Instagram and TikTok on Easy Tiki Drinks. And that's it for today. Until next time, take it easy.